on this YouTube channel, you see me unbox a whole lot of Amazon custom return pallets. And a lot of times, each pallet has like two, three, six huge mystery boxes on it. And I usually buy from pretty legitimate liquidation companies who get direct truckloads from Amazon or Target or Walmart. And there's other websites out there that sell large Amazon custom return mystery boxes. And over like several years, people have asked me, why don't you just buy from some of these random websites? And I always say, you know what? I stay away from those websites because most of those websites sell the stuff that they can't sell. Because there are some companies out there who buy truckloads of Amazon, Target, Walmart custom returns. A truckload, semi-truck, you know, like 30 pallets. And then they'll sell all the good stuff. All the PlayStation 4s, the Xboxes, the computers. They'll sell that stuff on eBay or their own websites. Then they'll make Amazon mystery boxes for their customers to buy with the possibility of finding treasure. And I've had over, since I've been doing Amazon custom return pallets on my YouTube channel, it's been like, what, three, oh, over three years? I've had a lot of people email me and say, hey, have you heard about this company? What's your thoughts? I'm like, I've never heard of them. I checked the website out. It looks like they might be the kind of company that's gonna sell you a, a mystery box of stuff that they can't sell themselves. Just the junk. The third party stuff that sells on Amazon. This is one of those random Amazon mystery boxes from companies that sell them. This one is a general merchandise, $225 mystery box. Supposedly there's maybe upwards of $500 of value, maybe more. I don't wanna say the company's name because I have no idea if they're legit. I have no idea of their reputation. I actually got this box a couple months ago and I put it into storage with a lot of my Amazon mystery, uh, like pallet stuff. And I found this and I'm like, I forgot that this arrived like back in like early July of this year. What over, actually a little bit over three months now. I forgot. So I went on the website that originally this box came from that website no longer, it's under maintenance. It's no longer even working anymore. So I'm like, whoa, this company might have not been legit. But that was the test I decided to do. Because remember, for a, like, months, a year now, I've said, I'm going to buy from random liquidation companies just to kind of test out the waters. And I bought this one. I think I have another one from, from another company. It might be the same company. I'm going to have to find it. It's just kind of weird that three months after I received this box in the mail, the company no longer exists. I checked their Instagram. They haven't posted since like April, I think it was. Their Facebook, it's been months. Like I said, the website is now under maintenance. There's The website's blank. So it's possible this company that this box came from, that was $225, my uh, my hunch was correct. It's probably going to be another one of those shady fly-by-night companies. But let's find out. Never looked inside this box. It's still sealed the day I got it, like three months ago. So uh, sometimes you know, people reach out. They say, hey, Clint, is uh, ultra cool special Amazon deal.com website, are they legit? I'm like, I've never heard of them. I don't know. So I just wanted to test the waters and see... What kind of boxes do these companies have? So far, just kind of peeking in the box. I don't see anything super weird. Okay. Looks clean. Let me show you a little peek. There's the top of the box. Now, it's actually a pretty heavy box. Let me set this down. Let's start going through this box. Let's see. Was it even worth the $225? So right on top, first thing, we have a Prince Limited Edition 7-inch single. That's kind of cool. It's still it's still factory seal too. 7-inch record. Where's my phone? There's my phone. I'm gonna look up just prices on Amazon.com, like the seller app. Or not the seller app, but just like 
the Amazon app itself just to kind of gauge prices on some of this stuff. Like quickly just look stuff up. On Amazon, 22 bucks. Okay, that's not bad. This is also right on top of the box. That might be the best thing in the whole box. Who knows? Next we have a Friday Night at Freddy's. I don't know. Some kind of a toy. It's like, it's a keychain in there. Friday Night at Freddy's keychain. It sells on Amazon for 25 bucks. Okay. First two items, that's like, you know, 45, 50 bucks. Next, we have Gold FX. It is used. I can already can see, like, usage on it. There's hair stuck to it. It's covered in fingerprints, so it is not new. A Gold FX outlining trimmer for, like, beards and stuff. Amazon it sells, it says it sells new for $185. Wow, that's expensive. Let me look on eBay for used. Looking on eBay used, like in original packaging, it actually sells pretty well. Like 91, 85, 133, 130, 120, 108, 107. That's like a hundred bucks right there. Okay, so the first three items, we're looking at possibly 140, 150. So far, it's not too bad. We've got a mystery item. It is still factory sealed. That makes this hard to know what this is. There, there's a old Amazon tag on it. Advanced optics something piece rifle scope mount. Advanced optics rifle scope mount. Let's see if I can find some quickly with just doing search for those words. Well, it looks like maybe about 25 to 50, depending on which one it is. I'm not too sure. So 25 to 50 dollars. We'll just do the lower range 25, so not bad. And we have the razor, a bold as a lion. Is this like a oh, it's like a straight razor. You usually get those in very many Amazon palettes. This has no barcode. On eBay, it did not find anything with this brand or nothing. So that, I don't even know what the value that might be. Next, right on top, obviously it's used. We've got a Slimline Pro Lee from Andis. Looks like, so this company that this came from, um, you know how Amazon puts labels. So they went ahead, they ripped off the label so they could figure out how much this thing was worth. I mean, they're obviously this company that did exist a few months ago. Now I don't think they exist anymore, possibly. Whatever this was, they might not have been expensive enough for them, so they threw into a mystery box instead of selling it themselves. Amazon is sells new for 61, but it is it is used. So honestly, used razor like this, and it's 20, 25 dollars if it works. Let's see, we have one more thing. Uh factory sealed. Ancestry DNA kit. I will never use these things because I'm not about to send off my DNA to some random laboratory somewhere in the world and then they have your DNA on file. Maybe they got your DNA. I don't want to be cloned by some mystery company somewhere in the world. I just kind of, I don't trust these DNA companies where swab your mouth, send us your DNA, we'll tell you what your ethnicity is, you're 5% Irish, 10% German, 15% Scandinavian. I don't trust those companies having, cause you know they keep your DNA on file. Like, you know like they don't, whatever DNA they have, they don't just throw it away, you know it's kept. You know it's kept, I, I, I just don't trust these companies. So anyway, but but if you wanna use companies like this, this Test your DNA to see, you know, what all you're mixed with. It's your choice. But me personally, I don't trust them. That's <laughs> just me. That might be weird. I don't know. So these kits on eBay, they actually sell brand new, factory sealed. 60, 60, 65, 60, 60. This is like a $60 kit, brand new. This is still factory sealed, 60 bucks. So far, it's actually been a decent box. I'm, I'm honestly kind of surprised. 
Next we have Techman Gun Accept. Oh, this is a gun cleaning mat. How cool is that? So whenever I do clean my firearms, like I obviously have like mats um, for this, you know, to put, if I break down like a whatever pistol I'm working on, I break it down, I put all the parts onto the mats, you know, one so they don't like roll around like the barrel or anything. But uh, this is like a very, very large mat for like a rifle. I actually don't have a rifle mat. Whenever I break down like my scar or one of my AKs, I usually just put down like a bath towel whenever I break it down, you know, and everything. This is kind of cool. I don't have anything like this or for a rifle. And on Amazon, this thing sells brand new for 25. That's 25 ships. So on eBay, it's probably like 10 or 15 or so. But I actually might have to hold on to that personally. I might, might have to keep that. And then next we have a Yeti coffee mug. Brand new. There are a lot of fake Yetis out there, so you do have to be careful when you're buying Yeti. Some of the telltale signs that Yetis have to line up and the Yetis in this do line up. Yeti mugs, probably, I haven't sold one of these things for a long time. I bet you this thing might be like, what, 20? 20 bucks? I think it's a fair assessment. Keep going. We have a babyless professional dryer in the world. That looks kind of fancy. It's in there. It's got tags still attached to it. It doesn't, I don't, the core's still all like factory wrapped up. I don't think it's been used. I don't even see fingerprints on it. This might be a new item right here. The instructions are in there, like a, uh, a cloth bag is in there. Let me look this up. On Amazon, this is like 30 bucks shipped, so it's not super expensive. So eBay, that's 30 shipped on Amazon. eBay is probably going to be about 10, 15 plus shipping, so not very expensive. As long as it works, hey, I'm, I'm okay with that. Next, we have a works semi-automatic driver. With a sticker on it that says exception. Looks like that's still the factory seals right there. Uh, has that been opened? No, it looks like the factory seal is on there too. This might be brand new in the package. That is the Amazon return label that is on it right there. The LPN label, that's what Amazon puts on things whenever it gets returned. Let's look this up. This might be kind of expensive. Looking on eBay. Uh, new in the package, I'm seeing 40, 37, 45, 48, 67, 52, 56. Let's just say a low of 40 because the box, a little bit of like beat up to, to the box, but it still looks like it's factory sealed still. It's like 40 bucks right there. So far, this box is not bad. I'm kind of impressed. Look, we have a brand new Pokemon Battle Academy game. Factory sealed, 100% brand new. Pokemon stuff can sometimes be kind of crazy expensive. And on, I'm looking on Amazon, gauge price. Amazon, they got it for 35, yeah, $35 free shipping. So take off shipping, or I mean, go on eBay. If it's 35 shipped on Amazon, eBay is gonna probably be about 15 to 20 plus shipping. At even, you know, 20 bucks, that's not bad. It's possible maybe this company actually made the boxes too good that they no longer can sell them. Because so far, honestly, this has been pretty good. We have a MD1 stethoscope. MD1 stethoscope. It doesn't have a barcode on it. just has like a third-party seller label on it. It's got the Amazon like uh, secondhand usage, the warehouse deal sticker. So this is not new. This is used. But a stethoscope... 10, 15 bucks of that on eBay. I sold stuff like that in the past. It's been a long time though. Long, 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 long time. Oh, that thing's heavy. What is that? Basic in-ground fence for pet safe. Some of these pet safe things can be kind of pricey. It's still all factory packaged in there. I don't want to like take it off because whenever I pull off this top, it like undoes the factory packaging. This is still factory packaged. Let's see what this sells for on eBay. Okay, so I'm gonna try to find ones that are like open box item, like new condition. 
I'm seeing uh, 60, 35. I'm looking on eBay. Most of them are either like used, used, no packaging, or brand new sealed. Let's see, brand new pre owned. Okay, here's one open box item, 56 bucks. Most of them I said they're either they're brand new factory sealed or they're like used, used. Here's a $60 open box. So let's just, let's just low ball and say like 50 bucks. Open box item, like new condition. That's not bad. I think I'm I think I think I'm actually in profit right now. This is only $225. We have a factory sealed and factory sealed. We have a smart garage hub, MyQ Universal. This I think is gonna be a decent item. We've sold these before many of times. Okay, looking on eBay, brand new eBay, 10 bucks. Factory sealed, 20 bucks ship, 21 ship, so $10 plus ship, so brand new, it's like 10 bucks. Let's see, we still have a couple things left. We have a Swarovski, like a little crystal figurine, I bet, because there are other stuff like crystal. Some of stuff can be kind of pricey though. Let's see what it looks like, Let's see what it is. The box fits kind of tight. Well, that's pretty. It is a uh, is it a bird? I think it might be a bird. Might be a bird. Can you see it on camera? Hopefully you can see it. Hopefully it's halfway focusing. But we have a Swarovski crystal of maybe a bird. It looks like possibly a bird. The back is there's a oh it says it's a parrot. A parrot. It was a bird. Nailed it. Looking on eBay. I'm seeing $47, 30 bucks, 52, 52, 47, 59. That's like a low of like around 50 bucks. That's pretty good. Wow, okay, so I think this box so far has been really, really, really good. Next we have, oh, we got another Swarovski crystal thing. Dude, that one's still factory tape too. Um, it's still factory. Whoa, this has a original price tag on it of $350. It is a set of wine glasses. Let me do just the, I don't want to open up because it's still factory seal. I don't want to open it. Um, look on eBay or look, let me look on Amazon first, see what it sells for on Amazon. If you can see my phone, probably not. That's what it looks like, the glass. It is a crystal. A Swar Swarovski Crystalline Red Wine Glass set of two sells for $287 on Amazon. This sells for more than what the whole box cost. Whoa, let me check eBay just to verify price. September 16th, these sold on eBay for $350 plus shipping. September 16th, they sold for $275. What? That is freaking insane. They sold for $350 and $275 in the past month. So split that down the middle, like $300. Bucks. And on Amazon, it sold new for $286. eBay, it sells for $300. So it's... And it's still fact that's the original seal on it. Swarovski Crystalline Wine Glass is a set of two that sells for $300. Whoa. Craziness. I'm actually very impressed with this. We have a Smith & Wesson knife. I do collect knives. If this is a nice knife, I'll have to keep it. Ooh, that thing's tight. You gotta work on it. This is a Smith & Wesson Extreme Ops. It's supposed to be a really good knife. It just needs uh needs it's it's like tight right now. You gotta you gotta work on this knife to loosen up a little bit. Let me uh scan this barcode. This sells on Amazon new for eleven dollars. Pitch the box. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it. I collect knives, I'm just gonna keep it. It's it's cheap. It, it'll actually it will be kept for business use because I use these knives in my business for YouTube boxing opening, so just keep that for business use knife. It's an $11 knife. I collect knives. Let's see. Next we have a Noko Genius 5. Nice. 
I've had a fuse in the past that did not work whenever you try them out. I think they're like 25 or 30. Let me just verify. Looking on eBay for like open box, item, used condition, kind of a thing. We'll, we'll just do like used condition. 40 bucks. Uh, let's see. Most, most of them are brand new. Here's one for 59. That's like open box item. Here's, here's used. Or actually parts only for 35 means that doesn't even work. Pre-owned for 55. Pre-owned for 52. So around, actually around 50 bucks for that. Okay. We have a record here. Actually two records. Three records. We have Nicki Minaj, Pink Friday, Roman Reloaded. A used record. A lot of records um, I sell locally. Uh, a double LP, right? Yeah, a double LP. Nick Minaj used. As long as it plays okay, that's a good 15 bucks. Oh, sweet. We have Beastie Boys. Hello, Nasty. I might hold on to this one for my own record collection. Because I do collect uh, vinyl records. I get most of them that I get from my collection actually from pallets. I don't have Beastie Boys. I like Beastie Boys. Might have to hold on to that one. That's kind of cool. But even if I sell it, Beastie Boys, double LP, 15 bucks. And this one is, who is that? Harry Styles. Heard of him? I know nothing about him. This is the double LP once again. I know he's pretty popular right now. Probably another 15 bucks right there. Okay, next we have three things left. No, four things left, can't even count. Then we have another knife. Ontario Knife Company. Ooh, that's a nice knife. Oh, that flicked out real nice. That's actually spring-loaded. Nice. I like that. That, that one's actually a spring-loaded one. Okay, looking on eBay, this knife sells for around 20 bucks in like new conditions, around 20 bucks. But I like this knife. Like I said, I collect knives. So this is going to be... Packaging has been tossed. This will be converted into a... Business use knife. I like it. Spring loaded too. Sweet. So this one actually was able to get two knives to uh, hold back for business use. That's fun. Next we have a Zippo. It does look used. Needs fluid. Needs fluid. But uh, Zippo used, can't be that expensive. Probably not. I haven't bought a Zippo since I was in college. That was like back in the 90s. A used Zippo, that can be much more like what? Maybe 10 bucks. I'm just gonna guesstimate that, like 10. Next we have, oh, a Tommy Hilfiger. Is that, oh, that is a wallet. That is looks like to be a pretty nice men's wallet. Wow, okay. That looks to be pretty nice. It's brand new, it's still like attached into it and everything. Let's see if I can find a price. So I couldn't, on the package, I couldn't find a model number or price or barcode or anything. So I just did a, a, a eBay search for this basic Tommy wallets and I'm seeing most of them like 15 to $25. So this one I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess made around 20 bucks. Not super expensive. Oh, barcode right there. Look on Amazon with the barcode. Amazon, $19.95, 20 bucks new, so on eBay, 15 plus shipping. Here we go, last item in this box, we have a Lego set. Still factory sealed box, a little bit damaged to the box, but the factory seals are still in place. So looking on eBay for new factory seal, I'm seeing like 10 bucks plus shipping, 20 ship, 10 plus shipping, 15 plus shipping, 25 ship, 24 shipped, 10 to 15 plus shipping, a little bit of a beat up box, probably about $10 then, but so that is everything in this box. That is the entire box cleaned out, empty. And uh, wow, this is actually pretty good. This is actually pretty good. The company, the website, no longer exists. Like three months later, I've had this thing I said for like, what, over three months now? 
And for $225, I'd say I got back way over double my money. This might have been more like 600, maybe 700 bucks, maybe even more than that. So this was actually, this was a home run box. I'm kind of impressed. I'd actually had this shipped to me. It wasn't a local pickup kind of a place. If their website comes back up and if they start updating social media a little bit, like more than like three, four months, five, six months ago, how long it's been, like back in April, six months ago, I'm actually going to buy some more from this company. I think I have one more box in storage. I'm going to have to find it now. Hopefully I'll, I'll find it, record it, publish it maybe next week. There was quite a bit of brand new stuff in this, like mystery boxes, Amazon customer return mystery box. I don't know what the total is right now. I'm sure at home you already know because I had a tally going at the bottom. But I'm guessing at least 600 if not 700 bucks. Maybe even a little bit more than that. But I'm going to say about 600 So this was good value for the money. You can, you can turn around and sell this stuff. Most of the stuff pretty easily and turn a profit. Stuff like this is easy resale. Of course, this these are like, I guess, custom made mystery boxes from companies. So... Some of the companies out there that do these mystery boxes, some are legit and some aren't. And I might have found one that might have been a legit company, but their website no longer works. So they might have gone out of business. I don't know. But before I, you know, ever put my stamp of approval on a company, I've got to buy quite a few pallets or mystery boxes before I ever, like, put a stamp of approval like, this is from company A or this is from company B. But I'm impressed. This was good. This was good. And I got two knives to keep for business use. Even got a couple things. So hopefully you enjoyed this. I enjoyed this. I'm shockingly impressed. I wasn't expecting to even get my money back. And I'm going to turn a pretty nice profit on this stuff. Wow. Okay. So I'll see you next time. Maybe next week. I'm going to find the other box I got from this company. Like what? Three months ago. See if I can find it. And I will upload this one. The next one next week. As long as I find it. So stay tuned. Let's see how good the second box is.